Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. All right, we're going to move on uh, to the big laptop. Our, our chief of engineering, uh, Radford Castro, is here with the Asus G750, but this is a gaming machine. Right. So, of course, it's big. Hi, Radford. Yes. So, tell us what you thought about the uh, G750. Well, aside from its size and its not uh, so Is it stuffy. a 17-inch screen? It's yeah, 17.3. So, some I'm surprised somebody even makes those. Anyway. Apple yeah. stopped making them. I guess they're still... Yeah. Still so, somebody makes them. But this thing is... It's, it's built for speed. It's built for raw power. Right. And it's one of those things, like... You remember back in the days, we used to lug our PCs around and play the games? And right. So now people are bringing out their laptops, and this is what they're aiming for. This is your it. LAN party machine. This is your LAN party machine, yeah. 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 And so... Uh, How heavy is it? It's like seven pounds, six pounds? <laughs> yeah. Looks well, like it. It feels like it's even more... Looks like a desktop yeah. replacement. Yeah. Yes, yes, definitely. Yeah. So it's one of those things, if you want to lug around, you want to do everything on it. Uh, it has quite a number of ports on there, and even has a DVD drive, making adding more to the weight. Why not? <laughs> if you're yeah, gonna make not? a thing that big, might as well yeah. put an optical drive in. So it has a whole bunch of ports in it, including it has a Thunder Drive port as well. Thunderbolt. Yeah, so Thunderbolt. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. But That's interesting. We know yeah. this is we're just starting to see PCs with Thunderbolt. Yeah. On. So yeah. it's this is in line with like some of the stuff like you know Alienware, MSI, right. and right. all these other guys, including Razer, which is now. Starting to get into that. Phase. Yeah, in fact, I think Chad's reviewing the Razer for a later mm -hmm. uh, episode. So, um, I guess when it comes to gaming laptops, the things you care most about are speed yes. for gaming, mm -hmm. a great keyboard and mouse yes. combination, because mm -hmm. that's how you control yep. the game, and a screen that really is, looks good and is immersive. Yes, and how so does it rate in those categories? So, for the screen, we're looking at full HD. So it's 1080. So it's your yeah, standard, yeah. you know, full HD. And then you have your full keyboard, including your number pad. That's kind of funny, but I guess. Yeah. For some games, you use that number. Pad. Yeah, so yeah. some people are switch-handed, and they'll, right. you know, they'll actually try to do. You know. Right. No, I do that. <laughs> yeah. I'm a lefty, so I do that. Mm, yeah. Okay. So it's perfect for like when you have the trackpad over here. It's a little bit harder if you're going to be controlling with your WASD setup and try to control. That's control not ideal, way. is it? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you're going to have to need a mouse when you're going to use this. But you, you know, if you're already carrying six yeah. pounds of hardware, you can yeah. carry a couple ounces <laughs> right. of mouse. Definitely. Yeah. Let's see what that screen uh, looks like. It's touch screen? So yeah, it's, uh, well this one is not touch screen. Not touch screen. Yeah. Windows 8. Yes, Windows 8. And um, we'll just go through some stuff here. Here's what the desktop obviously yeah. is going to look like. And for those that want to see what the resolution, uh, the game looks like in a full resolution, this is, here's Bioshock Infinity running at full res. All now this is an i7. Are they? Uh, yes, this is i7 running on Haswell. It's, it's Haswell as well. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. And is it? Uh, it's using GeForce uh, and NVIDIA yeah, graphics. Yeah, it's using 770. 770 is pretty good. Yeah. Seven for a laptop. Series. Yeah. Yeah. And they're because you're not going to get any battery life on this thing. Uh yes. So you're probably looking at when you're maxing this whole thing out, probably three or four hours. You know when you're uh, running it at full blast. Somebody's calling me uh, from Colorado. <laughs> I'll just decline that okay. call. I've got eight phones here. I can't even figure out which one's ringing. Sorry about that. Oh, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> so while uh, let's go. Um, pretty much, uh, this is running at full blast right now. I'm not, like, tracking down any enemies or anything. Pretty like, good frame rate? You, yeah, it's a very find. good frame yeah, it rate. It looks good. And yeah. Actually, the, the quality looks pretty good, the too. The quality is great. Yeah. And, I mean, this is running at full blast. You know, obviously, you'll have some frame rate dips when you start. How hot does it things. get? How fast do the fans blow? Is it uh, really? It gets pretty hot. Is it about down to take there. off? Yeah, yeah, it's about to take off, and you have, you know, basically the the blowers right where they typically yeah. are located. Um, but it, it, it's it's pretty good actually. You know, I did a benchmark. Um, Bioshock has its own benchmarks that you could run, and for those who are interested in it, um, there's actually uh, I put them right over here. Okay. And so, it runs at about. You know, 12 or 62 frames per second on average. Okay. Yeah, which is you know, more, more than enough. It's adequate, yeah. Yeah, and at the max it runs at 216, so it's really, really good. Okay. Then I ran this other second benchmark called 3D Mark, which a lot of the gamers use, and it, I got this. And right now it runs 69% better than a lot of the other um, gaming laptops. What was the raw number? I see the it's raw a, number. Uh, yeah. It's about it's 19384. 19384 is good. Yeah. And is that the OpenGL uh, benchmark? Yeah. 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 So that's so, good. That's yeah, it's nice. great. And it does all this stuff in it. You're just right in between, 
you know, the high-end gaming PC and, and, you know, your typical gaming laptop. When you have it cranked up like that, does it feel hot? I mean, would yeah, you? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, a lot of the times, too, is when you're working on the keyboard, you can feel a little bit of the air coming out through the keys. <laughs> yeah. Especially when it's backlit yeah. like this. That's okay. So but, You're flying along. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. How's the uh, audio on that? The audio is actually pretty good. Yeah. So, um, this has what they call uh, sound media. Um, it's one of their Asus's, um, you know, proprietary type. Of, uh, but it has also an amplifier, and it doesn't sound tinny. It actually sounds very um, full in terms of at least bass-wise. Um, I played a couple of music here and there, and so it works with a variety of genres, and it works pretty well. Now, how much? Uh, does, I'm sure there's different ranges. This is mm -hmm. the one we have here. Is the GX? Is so the this, GX? Yeah. So this is the the 750 JX. There's a JW, which is 700. Uh, the uses the 760 or right. 765 right. GeForce. And that one has only 12 gigabytes of RAM versus 16. Which so that's the lower end. This is, you know, actually, what? How much did this come as as equipped? How much was this? Uh, 1899. 1899, and yeah. it starts at 1400 bucks. Yeah, it starts for at the lower end. For the lower so that's not horrible, given you know you're getting a lot of performance out of this thing. Mm -hmm. Let's get the pros and cons. So uh, the pros is is that you got a lot of speed and you can play the latest games. Right. And you can play them play them at full blast. Another cool thing Sorry too. Sorry about that. Oh, this no is problem. the same same. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so the other thing uh, that it also has, the other pro, is the fact that it can, um, it, it runs a lot of the desktop, has a lot of anonymities you'd expect from a regular desktop. And thirdly, it's, it's just an overall pretty good uh, system. And it comes with a bunch of stuff like, it even has uh, Asus Cloud that you can upload 32 gigabytes with. So if you buy one of the laptops, you have about 32 gigabytes of you know, cloud storage. You could upload whatever you want to right. it. And, um, and of course, you have Thunderbolt and all that good stuff. So the cons. The cons, obviously, is the weight and the size. <laughs> yeah. It's a little bit thicker profile. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's similar to what you see in a lot of gaming laptops. Um, the other thing, too, is that it gets a little fingerprinty. And yeah, it has, it's, it's, is it brushed aluminum? Yeah, it's brushed aluminum. Even on the top nickel. there. Yeah. Um, but when you rest your hands on it, if you yeah, get a little bit sweaty. Smudges, yeah. yeah it's really and you're gonna if you're playing that game. Yes, definitely. Yeah. So, so uh, battery life, heavy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, price is, you know, kind of yeah. middle of the road. Not, not, yeah. It's not bad given what you're yeah. getting, so I don't think that's a so con. So we're going for the somewhat value-conscious PC right. gamer. But right. Would you say buy, don't buy? This is a try. A try. Yeah. So, okay, okay. Yeah. And Radford Castro, that's the Asus G750 gaming laptop. Looks like a, a fairly solid entry into a very competitive Yes. Uh, field for the mm -hmm. gamer. And yes. I do like the the metal of it. Yes. But, yeah. man, that thing's heavy. <laughs> yeah, that thing's big. Yeah. <laughs> hey, thank you, Radford. Radford Castro uh, in charge of engineering here at the Brick House.